Okay, so NVIDIA stock looks extremely bullish at the moment and more importantly, it hit our long-term target at 289 this week. Yes, we have been aiming for this target for a few months now and this week NVIDIA finally reached it. I still remember when it was close to $100 and many of the NVIDIA haters were saying that it was too overvalued and that there was no way it would ever get close to $300 again. Well, here we are, no one can argue with technical analysis. Now let's see what is happening here and what to expect next. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel, my name is Nathan, so let's start our NVIDIA analysis over here. First, the trend is still very bullish because NVIDIA is still doing higher highs, higher lows, trading above the 21 MA and this week we just broke the previous top level around 280 over here and uh, we reached our long-term target at 289 which is better seen in the weekly chart. In the weekly chart, the 289 was the previous top level from March 2022, more than one year ago. So we finally reached this line over here, this resistance line over here. Now, do we see a top signal over here? Not yet. Maybe we will see a top signal. Now, a different question. Could Nvidia trigger a top signal under this resistance level over here? Yes. It could and that would be a quite problematic situation for Nvidia could be even a sell signal but right now Nvidia is still bullish it is still uh, doing bullish structures in the daily chart over here we are still above the 21 MA so as long as Nvidia remains doing this pattern over here right of higher highs higher lows above the MA the trend will remain bullish no one can argue with that all right so the trend is still bullish. Oh, Nathan, but we just reached a very important resistance level over here, right? Us uh, seeing in the weekly chart. Yes, we did, but uh, there is no top signal yet. So, Nathan, what could be, what could possibly uh, turn out to be a top signal on Nvidia? First, would be very important to see a crystal clear bearish structure in the one hour chart like a lower high, lower low. So far, there is no lower high, lower low yet. We, we tried to do that. We broke, we lost the 21 MA over here. We lost the 279, this red line over here. Uh, this red line did work as a resistance level over here today, but uh, right now we are breaking the MA, the red line. So we are still bullish in the one hour chart. There is no bearish structure yet. If we see a bearish structure in the one hour chart, then, then Nvidia could possibly lose the 21 MA in the daily chart over here. Meaning we could seek lower support levels like the 262 over here. Now, that could be quite problematic because if this week, right now is Wednesday, okay? We, I'm recording this video on Wednesday, uh, May 3. So, okay, today is Wednesday. If this week, Nvidia closes on negative territory, doing a bearish candlestick pattern over here, like a shooting star candlestick pattern, for instance. Okay, that's going to be an alarming signal. Maybe Nvidia is going to retest the 262 again, but in the worst case scenario, by actually triggering a top signal in the weekly chart, and if it performs a bearish structure in the daily chart as well, like a lower high, lower low, if Nvidia does that, losing the 262, then I believe Nvidia is going to retest the 21 EMA in the weekly chart. Right now, the 21 EMA is around $233, okay? So we are quite distant from this EMA right now. Of course, this EMA is going to climb a little bit higher in the, in the next, in the incoming weeks because the trend is still bullish, all right? But still, Nvidia could easily drop like, uh, let me see, let me calculate, a very uh, rough calculation, right? Around 15% in the next few weeks if we actually see Nvidia triggering a bearish structure in the daily chart, doing a top signal in the weekly chart as well. So that could trigger a sharper correction on Nvidia in the weekly chart. Is that a bearish reversal structure? 
Not yet, because Nvidia is still bullish in the weekly chart. We just triggered this inverted head and shoulders chart pattern. We are still above the EMA. We just broke from this descending channel over here. So there is absolutely nothing bearish on Nvidia right now, chart wise, price action wise. Therefore, it is still a bull trend, even considering a pullback of 15% on Nvidia, the trend would still be bullish long term speaking. And then, only then, we might see an opportunity to buy. Because right now, Nvidia is just bullish, it is near resistance levels over here. So, right now, I'm not that confident on a buy on Nvidia, but if it corrects a little bit more, then okay, maybe Nvidia is going to become a little bit more interesting. Because from this perspective over here, uh, Nvidia just triggered this head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders chart pattern, right? Which, uh, let me let me change this color for one second, which its technical target is the distance between the neckline and the head over here. This is this is the technical target of an inverse head and shoulders. Take a look at thepatternsite.com for more information. And, oh, and by the way, since we are talking about websites over here, take a look at my website. Join the top 5% community. The link is in the description of this video. Keep in touch with exclusive analysis on Nvidia and other stocks on a daily basis. Now, the technical target for this inverse head and shoulders, according to Thomas Bukowski, is this red line over here projected in the direction of the breakout. Therefore, Nvidia's technical target is around this yellow line over here, near the all-time high, above $300, $327 to be more specific, all right? So we have yet to hit Nvidia's technical target in the weekly chart. Therefore, there is still some upside potential on it. We just don't know if we're gonna see a pullback before or after that. So let's just calmly wait for more signals on Nvidia. Of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this channel. So if you are not my subscriber yet, consider subscribing because I'm here every single day talking about stocks, technical analysis, and much more. Click on the like button to support me. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. Stay safe. See you guys tomorrow.